So just a quick update video here. I've just removed the screws. It's evident it's been sitting for a while. I'll have to also have to remove this RF shielding here. Um, more screws, obviously. Great. Yep. So just a tiny little video here. So I don't think it has been messed with in the past, which is a positive for me. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to sort it. So thanks guys, keep watching. Bye bye. Hey guys, so I finally got the RF shielding off. Um, that's a pain in the neck and a half. I've taken the floppy drive out. So I was reading online that on the earlier STs, these chips here can become unseated. However, on the later versions like this, they've got this strap here to stop them coming unseated. However, I did notice that the ROMs here, um, there's multiple variations on this board. Apparently there's a two socket, a six socket, like this one. Some have two ROMs, some have six in it. So what I did was I used a chip puller. Yes, don't use a screwdriver, buy a chip puller. And I pulled out the ROMs and all they did was reseat them. And then we'll watch. So power's off. TV. White screen. White screen. Wait for it. Boom. Desktop. <laughs> so, yeah. It appears to work. I still need to reassemble it. I have a mouse coming. I bought a faulty mouse but you know, it should be simple to repair um, I don't currently have any software so I'll find a cheap game or something on eBay that's been tested and I'll buy that and I'll take it for there so stay tuned for more updates guys thanks